on my highest rated video, my highest most viewed video, I can't even prove that is me in the video. I can't prove that I said what I said in the video. And for that, I cannot gain any revenue from the video. I want you to look at the Suge Knight knocked out nightclub video. Won't you look at that and tell me who wrote that video? Because YouTube says I didn't write it. It's not original. I didn't own the rights to it. It's not my stuff. It's one of the shortest videos I have and the highest viewed video I've made. And it's not my video. Push this video to see if they offer me something for a video when I speak of them in a language in which I should not even be able to master. Until next time, I'm asking you this time, and you've been too. Are you done with me yet? Am I done? Can you see the scars on my chest? Is it over? Oh, yes. Once again, I have to eulogize another fallen YouTuber. My fellow Americans, today I offer up to you the Hayden Bailout Plan. Yep, the government is fucked. It's truly fucked in California. All these motherfuckers gotta do to fix the whole thing, instead of giving millions of dollars away to these institutions, you give the money to the people. Like I said, if they gave everybody three, every legal citizen three hundred fifty thousand dollars, the first thing you're gonna do is put it in the bank. You might get your car fixed. You might even buy a new car. I got, I got a new car. I paid down on the house. Between me and the wife, we got $400,000 left in a bank. When you give the money to the people, the whole system makes money. Now, in none of these plans that all of these people are coming up with, not one plan calls for the government to give the people a damn thing. Not one plan is giving the people of America anything. Not one plan. They're not bailing us out. They're bailing out banks. The banks are the ones who control the money. How are you going to bail out the banks? You need to bail the people out. And then the people, in return, bail the banks out. I typed in boobs. I typed in ass. I typed in all these things to see how sick they are. And they're not as sick as you two. There's not that many people on this place. There's not a bunch of black people arguing and bickering. I even went through the blogs to look to see. I looked for niggas. Excuse my language. I looked for niggas. If I saw a bunch of niggas, I was going to go. I don't even want to be on that site. But I didn't see a bunch of niggas. I didn't see a bunch of ignorant booty shaking. I didn't see no stereotypes splashed in front of people as entertainment. I've been called nigger for fucking 40 years. It's bullshit. You're just like, oh. It's just another intelligent person dropping the N-bomb for no apparent reason at all. Just to get a rise out of someone who really doesn't give a fuck whether you say the word or not. I suggest find a new word to call black people when you want to upset them. I'm 
Now, I'm sorry. The word nigger does not do it for me anymore. For those people who want to hate, the word nigger is not hatred no more. It's just bullshit. <laughs> giving up the whole YouTube thing. I might just quit and give up because people are tired of death threats. Motherfuckers is trying to talk about killing me and shit. I ain't got no time for that bullshit. <laughs> anytime soon <clears throat> let me tell you this this guy formulated his ideas formulated his plans in his mind for decades okay with no disrespect it, d it did take decades okay he can talk about the past he can bring it around to the present and he can project to you what's gonna happen in the future so it takes a long time and I just don't know if anybody is ready, quite ready yet to blast blast their ideas. Now, will it be me? <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna make it that long. You know, it takes a lifetime. The living legacy of the real AIX. I don't know what you've been told, but I know you sold your motherfucking soul. For a little bit of piece of this and that, and then you wanna take a baseball bat. Coming soon, all this week. How do you pronounce it? I don't know how to pronounce it, my friend. I couldn't tell you. Is it uh, the real Ikes? The real Ikes? The real uh, nine, perhaps? As in uh, X, the uh, Roman nu uh, numeral. I, I don't know. Okay, okay, how about the real I? The X is not pronounceable. I don't know. Tell me. The real AIX. The following series is about the actual story of the real AIX. We're going to be looking at those happier times he went through, those less happier times, and those painful moments he went through. And also, we'll be uh, accompanying him as we journey back through the times he projected his wisdom to the world wide web and as he says to whoever is watching out there in cyberspace so the best place to start would be the beginning the beginning for the real AIX not witnessed by many but it did bring along quite a few people in quite a short space of time now it's very ambiguous about the actual beginnings of this channel but regardless of where it began, where it all actually began, it is no doubt that it was a bitter beginning. It was brought on 
by bitter experiences that uh, he went through and the need was felt to express this experience or these experiences on the medium of YouTube. However, don't be fooled by what's on the surface. As we attempted to scratch the surface, we tried to search engine um, for a video that we are actually aware uh, existed according to many uh, eyewitnesses or on YouTube that this is the actual first video and uh, the man himself confirmed it on a phone conversation and the video was um, a response, a video response and these are the kind of videos on YouTube that get you in trouble sometimes but in this case it was for the wrong reason, reasons so what is this video? well let's go to a search page and try some keywords in order to, uh, to track it down so uh, we were told that uh, the video was about uh, illegal immigration and um, the reason for its disappearance was uh, because it was pulled down um, due to death threats and due to uh, threats of violence against the real AX. And so we um, typed in the real AX and Mexicans um, because that's or, or Mexicans are um, immediately associated because they're next to the border of the United States with illegal immigration uh, but this was b uh, bound to bring it up because it was a topical issue even today so the first uh, result as you can see is from a, uh, a blog uh, from two years ago an article on a blog and uh, the description on that uh, immediately uh, brings up the word uh, the real AIX and the video response in this Weijai Valley News blog uh, article uh, border dispute spills into uh, Ojai or Wijay uh, by Sandra Murphy. Uh, the real AIX is not mentioned in the article, but underneath that headline, as you can see, there are 97 comments, and that is where we find not only the reference to the real AIX, but a reference to the uh, missing video. So scrolling down, we can see that the article above that uh, red arrow was actually written um, on, the April, on April 1st, 2008 and there are 97 responses so in this comment by Anonymous on the 2nd of April we can see that it is a response to a, a comment and um, basically it references YouTube and then it goes on the 2nd from bottom line uh, YouTube look up the uh, real AIX and his video response entitled uh, re blacks must support illegal immigrants and um, the link is provided on the left hand side on that final line of the whole comment there. So let's uh, try and actually go to that link and see what happens. As you can see the video has been removed by the user. This confirms two things or can confirm two things that the video did once exist and it may have existed or not out there in uh, cyberspace once but also it um, brings up an interesting issue as we do further research in tracking down uh, such uh, a video now that we know what it's called, now that we know the exact or more precise keywords behind the video. So going back to our uh, search page we uh, modify uh, the um, search term and we go to the real AIX removed immigration video and again this time the second search result brings us, we kind of randomly clicked and it brings us uh, around for circle uh, to something very interesting. It's an article on world news so the real AIX is quite the global power. He has made it into uh, this 1995 uh, created or established uh, online news journal uh, World News and it, although it's part of a playlist this particular link uh, Hispanics urge Obama to reform immigration laws about the Arizona, the recent Arizona uh, immigration law and uh, the real AX cleverly has, uh, as you can see, has uh, retitled or reworded the uh, title to that video, and that's how he got to the link. And it is a pretty interesting video, pretty intoxicating too, if I may add. But yes, so right there you can see the global reach of AIX. We're having little luck in tracking down uh, the video, even on Google Video, we um, can only then go by what we can see and what we can prove to be a bitter beginning and that is the Santa Rosa County Fair experience and that's 
what's coming up in the next episode of I Don't Know What You've Been Told, The Living Legacy of the Real AIX. Hopefully we'll see you then. Take care. In this cleverly made video, the real AX momentarily for about half of the video, or most of the video in fact, disguises himself in darkness uh, to prove a point and to maybe put a subconscious message. The video itself is about an experience he had whilst working at the Santa Rosa uh, County Fair Park with fellow employees. It is a racial incident. Well. In this video, I don't want my face to be seen. At least not until the end of the video. Is this fair? Say, for instance, you worked as a temporary employee. And it also is a, um, a proof, because he can prove it, that the bitter experiences of the real AX immediately gets play on the medium of YouTube for the world to actually uh, see and also to make their mind up as he so uh, rightly states in that particular video. How far will a man go for respect? He will go until there's a light. He will go until he can be seen and heard. And once he's heard, then everybody will be able to see. No matter what color you are, no matter where you work and what you do, you have a basic human right to pursue, to pursue happiness. You should be given the opportunity based on time spent, time served, and deeds done. I don't owe anyone anything, and I don't have any favors I can call in to get my justice. So the justice that I have to seek, I must create. And in this creation of justice, what do you think is going to happen to me? Because I've paid enough. Well, maybe you haven't paid enough yet. But hey, I don't threaten people. What I'm trying to say is this. Public opinion will be your judge, just like you or mine. So, hey, let all the people who want to scream the N-word at the fairgrounds, scream it loud. Be proud. Stand by your convictions. Because I will stand by your convictions, too. Thank you. This is The Real AIX. Out of the dark and into the light. According to the words of the man himself, um, the reason he showed up on YouTube was uh, strictly for uh, his music uh, that he uh, creates or created in the past and still does to this day. But that was the reason is to um, put across his music and uh, see what people make of it. But again, uh, real life experiences uh, take precedent and have uh, done so. So this kind of set the precedent and also set the uh, mark bench and the bar, everything you can think of, to be the launch base for things to come. So this is only the bitter beginnings. What about the positive, the sweet side of the bittersweet? Well, that is very sweet indeed. Let's dive right in. Two years ago, those who uh, first started uh, following the real AIX by subscribing to him and wanting to hear what more he has to say after his uh, immigration video I think they would have been very glad to have seen the positive and uh, wisdom side or the wise side of uh, AIX rather than go down that uh, rabbit hole of hate so this video titled Power does put it out there and puts him up there with, in the words of those who know him, with Greek philosophers. Greek philosophy eats your heart out. Here comes power. 
power. What is power? Power to control people, power to tell people what to understand, power to shape people's minds. What is power? Who has power? I often tell people that the man in power does not actually wield the power. But the man who can manipulate the man in power to get what he needs actually controls the power. Do you believe me? I don't think you do. Because there are some people that are powerful that you see that they're powerful. But powerful in which manner? Powerful to control their jobs or their own fate? Power to control their own money? What is power? Like I said, the man in power does not actually hold power. It's the, ah, it's the people that can manipulate the man in power and actually control the power. So when you look at the presidency, what power does the president actually have? The president is a figurehead. He sits there for all his constituents to control. You have to look at it. The man or the woman who may be president of the United States this time around, how much power will they actually have? Do they listen to their constituents? Do they pay attention to the people who they're asking the votes for? Because since they want your vote, then what does that mean? That means you have the power. But a lot of people won't see it like that because a lot of people don't vote. Oh, they're just going to pick who they want to. They're just going to put the person in office who they want to. Yes, they will. They will. As long as you don't flex your power. Right now is the only time that you actually have more power than those people who are asking for you. They need you. They want what you got. Because each and every one of us Americans is a little battery. And they need that charge. They need that power. They need our okay to run for president. They need our okay to become president. They need our okay for the opportunity to be the president of our country. So who has the power? It would be fair to say that the Im illegal immigration video uh, controversy was being created at the time simultaneously as many of these positive videos or commentary videos were being made and it was building and building up until one day the straw that broke the camel's back was finally snapped and AIX felt he needed to make this response to that controversy. I did a reply to black people must help illegal uh, immigrants. No, I don't think anybody should help anybody illegal. Wait a minute. What about all those people who helped those black people on the Underground Railroad? Half the motherfuckers was mad because they couldn't own slaves no more. So if I can't own a nigga, nobody else can. Let's get these niggas the fuck out of here. I digress. Let me switch. Let me go back to something else now. So, I'm supposed to be this racist. Am I racist because I work for a Mexican man? I work at a Mexican company? I work for a Mexican restaurant? I'm racist because I see these hard-working Mexican people look like a bunch of common fucking thieves when the next guy down the street wants to rob somebody or break in something or steal something or shoot and rape somebody and run back to Mexico? You always look at my friends like they're the one that did it? No. So, all these fools out there don't think I can make no music and shit. They think I'm bunk with it. They don't think I got any kind of moves. Yeah, let me break this up like this. It's you and me. It's you and me. As far as I can see. It's you and me. It's you and me. It's you and me. It's you and me. As far as I can see. It's you and me. Like to curse him, but what they gonna do to you? 
teaching a bunch of people how to be stupid. Smoke a couple of blunts, get your Remy Martin on, put on some stupid music and get dumber. That is the state of hip hop. There is no education in shoot this nigga, shoot that nigga. If, listen to every one of these songs. They're always killing a nigga. We associate ourselves with being niggas. sounds the same. If everything sounds the same, why in the fuck should somebody go buy y'all records? Why should somebody buy the album? Why don't I just wait for somebody to bootleg this motherfucker over there so I can get the shit for free? When hip-hop was original, when everybody sounded like themselves, people would break their neck to go out and hear the new Luda album. People would, Kumo D, come on man, BDP. When the hip hop was real and original, even Will Smith, he didn't cuss because parents couldn't understand. Hip -hop. Fuck hip hop, nigga this, nigga that, bitch just suck my dick, suck my ass. People can't do nothing. Is all hip hop about fucking and money? Is it? Woo! Fucking and money. It's all about fucking and money. Getting your dick sucked, having a bitch lick a bitch and all that shit. I don't want to hear Puff Daddy every fucking time I hear a record. I don't want to hear Akon every time I hear a record. I don't want to hear what's that loving <laughs> in love with strippers and shit. I don't want to hear. I forgot his name. I stopped mad. Please. Y'all be quiet. I'm all over this one. As the fear creeps in, you don't know why. Deep down inside, you fear, fear, and then cry. It makes you sick to the stomach. You want to throw up all the time. Everybody trying to get you for your nickel and your dime. All you do is work to pay for the same old shit every day. Electricity flies out the sky and rain do too. But they got that bill coming just so they can charge you. Pay for water? Hell yeah, the garbage on the ground. I got to give them some money to pick it up and drive it across town. Music is garbage. A hook over and over and over and over again is not music. A lot of people gonna look at me and say, "Hell, nigga, what the fuck have you done? You ain't shit." But I'm old enough to understand the plight of music. And this hip hop is like the roller coaster, but it's on a downward slope. I listen to music just like my steak. It can't be too thin, and it ain't gonna be too fat. It's gonna be just right. 
the perfect steak. Look at hip hop like the perfect steak. You got this burn up shit. You got these small proportions. Hip hop is not hip hop. That's some pop hop. See, you cannot say anything positive about hip hop anymore because hip hop is not positive anymore. You got these kids and everybody talking about shoot niggas. Even back in your day, that's when that shit started. See, hip hop now is just a tool for the man, whoever the man may be, to desensitize and control the black populace. In other words, instead of me making a whole bunch of white people raise up and slaughter niggas, what better way to do it than make them kill themselves in their music? Smoke some blunts and kill a nigga. I had to say this shit. I hate to say this shit, but that's all there is in music. All they do is kill niggas in hip hop. And get check, get the freak on. Get brains in the back of the car with the 22s. Hip hop to me now is no more than a commercial. For rims, grills, teeth, little chains and shit. Motherfuckers skinning and grinning, dancing like the old black minstrel shows and shit we used to have to hear about. In the last episode, you saw how the real AIX was able to create music himself, was able to uh, verbalize uh, poetry himself, and we also saw how he can use those skills in order to form his opinions, uh, having obtained that license in the first place. You create something, you can have an opinion about something. So, <coughs> these skills came in quite handy in the fall of 2008, when he had a battle slash beef with a certain partner on YouTube that uh, supposedly creeped everybody out but none more so than this man himself and the real AIX felt threatened not only by the man but also by the, his apostles quote unquote those who are supposedly fans of this partner a particular YouTube partner and um, a two and fro battle took place but as they say, in the case of a comedian, never make fun of a comedian because you will lose. And here, you should never go to battle with an MC like the real AIX because you're bound to lose. So the next few uh, video clips will be uh, possibly a lesson on how to actually either draw in a beef or to win outright by simply expressing yourself and fully exposing uh, the, the horrors that you uh, receive, but then reflecting them back accurately. The onslaught continues. They continue, Paul. The onslaught continues. This is what your fans do, Paul. And you do not control them. two messages and in these two messages he says he cannot he cannot control what his viewers and his fans do Paul if I can tell my people to leave your people alone while your people attack me you can tell your people to stop so as the bigger person, Paul, as the partner, sir, it is your responsibility to tell these people to stop. Yo, Paul, whatever your name is, I forget. I want to draw some attention to you right now. And I'm going to be real honest with you, dude. You come off creepier than shit. 
you come off very creepy. I mean, dude, there's something about you that gives people a weird feeling. I mean, when people told me about a couple of your videos, I wanted to check for myself. Um, how did you become a partner? I mean, you come off hella creepy, dude. That whole Forbidden Love series, it was sad and made yourself look like a pedophile. I mean, it's just something creepy about you, dude. And and I'm not saying this in a mean way or, or try to belittle you or whatever you're doing on your page. This is your business. This is what you do. But you come off like somebody with a problem. I mean, and it's weird because, I don't know, if I knew you personally, you probably would, I probably wouldn't have that feeling. But I get a weird eerie feeling watching your videos, dude, and that's why I'll be honest with you, dude, you come off creepy, man, I mean, all of a sudden, now my video works, so now I go back to the internet and someone calls himself the masturbator, sends a picture of some man's penis and balls to my personal messages, and what else does it say, what else does it say, okay, his regards, but hey, it's the message underneath that, Mr. S. The message underneath that says, Leave Paul alone. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. Right. Leave Paul alone. If you know what is good for you, we have already hacked your computer. Your page was masturbated. So, they've hacked my computer and masturbated watching a video. I have no women in my video. So you got some guys masturbating to my videos, sending me pictures of penises, mad at me because I'm telling this guy he came off creepy in the video. Then I said this guy had his goons at YouTube shut my video down in two videos after the fact. Those two videos I was willing to pull once my video began to play again. My, my video began to play again, and then I get these guys showing pictures of male penises. Leave Paul alone. I'm going to make this brief and to the point. A lot of people have said a lot of hurtful things these last few months I've been on YouTube. And it stings a little bit. I'm just thinking about all the other people out there who who try to make a difference and, and try to do their best to try to say something positive for people. To give people that little push, a little encouragement to keep them going. For everybody who has said something foul, bad, discouraging, sad, depleting, draining, humiliating, frustrating, pitiful, ignorant, despicable, deceitful, lies, untruths, and all out rude behavior. To everyone on YouTube that don't have anything good to say, this is for you. <coughs> Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. You've been too. YouTube friends are very important when you are um, uh, a first timer here on YouTube. It is better to uh, get at least some kind of um, trusted loose associations uh, to begin with. Um, I did um, stumble upon it um, upon the uh, these group of fr uh, group of friends, Real Alex, Father Judgment, uh, all these guys, you know, Dave of J, via Father Judgment actually. Uh, a video he did about um, Paul Savang, who kind of were doing their own thing as well, 
but it just felt like a community, a mini community within a community. So friends uh, are probably what kept you going, but a lot of these people just deleted their accounts and came back again, as uh, X pointed himself. Um, but also, um, they still kind of kept going because they had each other, as, uh, as it were. And um, I think the AX is just doing his own thing. That's why he just never quit, uh, never changed his name. He's got other names, but never quit, you know, never change uh, for anybody, as he says. YouTube friends must have them, or got to have them. There is a certain uh, air of specialty, an air of mystery to the video responses that um, AIX uh, does, uh, especially those that remain to this day, uh, but are actually unconnected. They have not been attached, or the other side has vanished. But nevertheless, they have, uh, there is this phenomena about um, the knowledge he drops that actually penetrates through uh, the wall of uh, ambiguity and you will still get uh, the full picture somehow uh, even though maybe you are just creating it uh, in your brain uh, about what the other side may have said or what the other side is about so yes every video response um, that I've watched or actually most of them some of them uh, we do need the other side otherwise we just get 100% AIX and then we are kind of satisfied but other than that, um, I personally think that the videos, the video response, uh, responses that he does to other people on subject matter, they do not matter. As long as he discusses the subject matter and expands on that, it's all, it's all good, as they say. So yes, AIX himself complains about this, and we shall see why. Videos. I don't give a damn. I'm late to a couple of them damn videos. Now when people go to my videos, they see me talking shit about Willie P. Well, what is he talking shit about? You ruining my videos. Because when there's an argument between people, people want to see what happened, what made this guy say this, what made this guy say that. That's the resolution. You cannot finish the story from beginning to end. You can't see what happened, that beef between me and B-Wise. You can't see the whole beef. You don't know what's going on. You can't see the whole argument from beginning to end. You don't know what's going on. It's a cowardice act to make something disappear if it made you look bad. But hey, that has nothing to do with me. Father, religion is weird for me because from what I was taught, we were all born or created in God's image. I have been to at least seven or eight different religions through my lifetime. And one thing I get from each religion and everything that they, they teach pretty much from all the ones that I've experienced is that we are created in God's image. I'm not the wisest person or smartest person or the coolest person on the world. But if I'm created in the image of the person that created everything, then I am what I was created to be, the image of God. I am God. And it teaches somewhere that this is uh, your body is your temple. If you are God and I am God and our bodies are our temples, who should we pray to? So once again the um, AIX was in a bit of a dark spot with the beef and with the negative messages that he um, was getting uh, from mid 
uh, early to mid 2008, and then by uh, the time the, um, of the beef with uh, the Savan gang in the fall and autumn of 2009, uh, sorry 2008. So a year on from 2008, um, the spring to um, 2009 January and um, it was a sort of a, a new start for kind of a new generation people have been added on uh, me included uh, who suddenly just started to actually intently uh, follow AIX uh, so it was kind of a musical beginning and um, back to Brookman's studio to produce some hits um, and uh, then by February uh, we started uh, into um, Back or diving back into the actual financial situation of uh, the world and the United States specifically, and um, you know uh, that was kind of a part one uh, or part two, sorry, to what, what was previously um, has been said. But uh, the last uh, time uh, there was a positive outlook from the real AIX or input uh, that was in February of two thousand and nine until the spring. Uh, came and it brought some darkness and then some brightness after that. So it was quite the contrast. And um, uh, many of us are familiar with the dark incident. Yeah, so let's look at the bright side um, first, actually. Um, this video, I guess I'm going to title it for what? Because... You know, we go to work when we can. We, we feed our family the best we can. We do what we can, you know, for tomorrow. And shit, fuckers can't even make it till tomorrow. I mean, if it's so bad in this country, and this is supposed to be the freest country on the planet, what are we getting for our freedom? You know, um, what's free? What's freedom? What's free in America? I mean, what was the dream like? I, I missed it. I missed the American dream because I was too busy trying to stay woke. Um, I don't know. Welcome to this new episode. So, can you mimic the real AIX? I don't think so. But I'm going to try anyway, uh, in this quick video, in this episode, putting the director slash narrator on the spot, right here. So what makes a free society? What makes a punishment by justice acceptable for an offence? When is it too much and when is it a little bit too much and when is it okay? Is it free to have or to be punished for not paying taxes which are little offences with big sentences? Or would it be fair if the taxes were lower and then the punishment is harsh because they are lower you should be paying the taxes in the first place. So this is the real deterrent. Well, you don't want to pay your taxes? 25%, 15%? BAM! In jail you go 25 years to life. Some actually do advocate death penalty for shoplifters, but I wouldn't go that far. But if you look at it, speeding, getting a fine for that, that's not very free, is it? Every time you speed you get a fine, maybe a, uh, some points if you are a bit of a regular, then you get your license taken away. Is that really free? Shouldn't it be your speeding you're going to be locked up for a week, for example. Or your pay is deducted if you're going to work. Or shouldn't it be, okay, so you're going to run somebody over. It's bad enough if you speed, but if you can run somebody over, then, well, depending on the age, maybe it's life to death. Who knows? I don't know. I'm just saying. But yes, so free society, we've got to look at that carefully about how we carry out justice for the little offences with big sentences or for the little offences with little sentences and the big ones with even bigger ones or relatively big ones 
but still people don't see it as enough. The moral of the story is this. If you're going to punish somebody, punish them so that they don't punish, put the punishment there so they don't commit the offense. But if you're going to let the offense happen, sometimes on purpose, then the government has no backbone. If he's going to let it happen and then let the murderer or the rapist or the pedophile run free, then there is no backbone. That's my two cents on that. You've been tubed. Now, how was that? This is probably the worst episode ever. But nevertheless, it proves something that you can't mimic wisdom. Wisdom is self creating, wisdom is self expressing. It is not superimposed from somebody onto somebody else. I hope you've learned something just like I have learned. See you next time. How can I do this? How can I allow the people that control the system to come in my house anytime they see fit? Pull my family outside and have the troopers run through my house. Destroy everything. Trample over lives. The perception of bad is only bad to those who do not know you. What I think is bad, it may be good for somebody else. What I think is good may be completely the worst thing for somebody else. Whose judgment guides us? Whose control controls us? Why? Why do we have to fall subject to a systematic form of slavery built to control and keep people impoverished and enslaved? Why? Why should you have to sign up a contract with the devil in order to be free? Why? Send people to work building computers. Lay some robots off. Because if technology is built to better humanity, and it's not, it's only benefiting the people's bottom line, profit margin, baby. Then lay some fucking robots off. I'm so Eat it right now. Lay some robots off, baby. When you want to educate America, send Americans to work building computers. Why? Why can't we be happy? Why can't we? Why? Why can't we have jobs? Why can't we build shit in America? Remember, built in America was a was a, a, a staple. I mean, buy American made. What happened to that? People stopped buying American made when they find out what they bought in America that was made in America was made in China. I worked at a company where we made clipboards, polyurethane clipboards. Clipboards were made, manufactured, everything right here in the United States of America. Shipped to China. Two weeks I was there, they showed me how the projections and everything was made. They showed me this big chart, you might not understand it, but I did understand the chart. And like I told those guys, before I even saw the chart, Everything here is based on a number. And if the man don't see his numbers add up, he's coming for your ass to make sure he get his. And before I left, I saw the numbers change. And that's the job calling me back again. I know it. How can I help you? Yes? How are you doing? Pretty good. Okie dokie.
Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, dokie. Oh uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. You know, I'm fine. I, I've been, I be sitting here by myself a lot all the time. Okay. <laughs> all righty. I will. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Apparently, they want me to come back to work. They need me there. They had got to have me there. When uh, AIX had his um, Hayden bailout plan during the 2008 bailout uh, plans for the banking industry, um, I suppose um, really nobody quite thought about it um, because they thought, you know, what are you selling? And um, this is too good to be true. But um, sort of a year and a half on, I suppose now, uh, you can actually have an amendment to that bailout plan by um, the real AIX and um, it's kind of an amendment if you like. I mean countries where they're struggling with employment and especially those countries who have natural resources uh, they need to kick out the uh, foreign corporate companies out but at the same time you know give them this uh, warning shot and um, my proposed amendment would be to actually allow these companies that um, either can't make it or can't quite afford to make uh, to, or to pay the wages to um, those citizens of uh, the country, whatever country you happen to be in, pay the difference in wages um, that is sort of below the natural average to bring it back to the uh, above average. Okay, so instead of paying people uh, welfare money to encourage them to, or to discourage them from going to work, encourage them to actually go to work and stay, and then uh, at the same time you're persuading the companies to stay in your country and carry on investing and carry on doing business so you allow them but you have to also carry out an audit so that you make sure that um, this is why the government is good at governing and not running things it's there it's a private industry but the government keeps an eye watch of it so that it's following its rules and, regu and uh, regulations <coughs> so yeah you're persuading companies to stay you're encouraging people to work through audit so you can't pay um, 18 grand a month 18 dollars 18 thousand dollars Okay, fine. We'll, we'll top it up um, as much as we could to get you. Um, and also, you can actually audit the person. So if they've got a family, you can. They will have a higher top up than a, a person who's single, for example. But nevertheless, the government or the people's government will uh, give you a top up. You know, two thousand because you've got eighteen thousand. You want to get to twenty thousand dollars for argument's sake. So yeah, this kind of uh, plan also probably will fall on deaf ears and it will probably be thought of as too good to be true but um, it just needs some proper watchful eyes by the citizens and some proper management by the government and nobody will be stealing anything if everybody's watching everybody else truthfully Spring of 2009 was very interesting a very interesting uh, time uh, indeed and um, I was um, simultaneously putting out sort of um, more grounded uh, vlogs myself or video logs myself but I was stopped by others and especially what the AIX did especially after his experience with the law or the so-called law. Check it out. And I did it all based in honesty. Honestly. In the beginning my videos got more hits than they did in. And in the end I have way more videos than I did in the beginning. If on the average I get 200 hits a day per video. I've been on this medium for a year. How come on an average I get less than 30 hits per video? In the crux of hearing this news that YouTube is being bought by some other place, 
This will truly be my last and final YouTube video. I want you and I encourage you to write the new owners of YouTube to ask them to personally ask me to come back. If I've earned you millions, if not billions of dollars by letting you exploit me for free, when you sell this channel, you do not sell the rights to me. I absolutely agree with AIX. Um, I think it's definitely suspicious. Um, but you've got to think of it um, like this, uh, 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 like a double-edged sword. Um, from the point of the user, from people who upload videos, um, they would like more c uh, clicks so that they will know that people are watching, um, regardless of what the type of video it is, especially if it's a positive message, if it's a, a meaningful video. Uh, but at the same time, you may not, because of the shenanigans that YouTube um, is putting up, you may not want them to be paid because a number of click equals um, an, amount of, an amount of money for a YouTube. Um, so that's one edge of the sword. The other edge is, well, YouTube also wants to be paid, so the more clicks it has, the more benefit is, uh, it is or there is for it. Uh, so, but at the same time, it will mean that um, positive messages will have a um, an outlet. There will be there will be the perception at least that well it's catching on uh, the facade is finally falling um, we've been exposed you know all this negativity we've been promoting actually nobody probably was watching so it's very suspicious that they may be actually sort of um, adding extra views maybe or al allowing the view restrict account to just run wild in less meaningful videos while in even your own less meaningful video the same thing could be done and then you're made to look stupid, but in those positive videos, you're kept to the low 20s and 30s, uh, and even um, teens uh, in number of views. So, yeah, I think it's, there's definitely inside sort of um, inside maneuvers to get the cap on the number of views set in place there. After watching my videos go big time someplace else overnight, YouTube was making me. I feel like I've aged. Feels like I've aged. It feels like people have seen me over a thousand times on some other website as to where as I've been on YouTube and I go from being seen over a thousand times a day to 20 or 30 hits per video. I have figured out YouTube completely. This is how YouTube works. YouTube is not a site for, say, uh, political commentary, unless you're news or something. YouTube is not a site for um, teaching knowledge, because YouTube suppresses knowledge. Um, like I said, you can say any ignorant or stupid thing on a video. You can even do dumb stuff. And no problem. So, um, I thought about it. BS videos just shown all over the world. You say something positive, it only filters within our little circle. No doubt. Every now and then somebody will get lucky and pop in our circle like Chai Global. You know, I'm a boy from the UK. But can you imagine if there was a thousand Chai Globals watching our stuff? You get it? You get the picture? We've been put in the back burner and nobody ever hears what we have to say. But, like I said, for a million times, you say something negative, they will make it a point for that to be said. What's the deal? Somebody got Chai Global tied up? Alright, um, people have been asking me about Chai Global. AIX, once again, showing that he cares. He has done uh, two videos on a missing member of the family or member of the YouTube family. 
Now, Chai Global, whatever the problem is, man, you need to call me. Um, you've given me these encrypted messages that sound like, you know, there's no tomorrow. I'm not always the same person when I come back, but I'm always the same person. See what I'm saying? Life itself is a riddle. Once you decide for your part in this riddle, life is a lot easier. No matter how dark it gets, no how gloomy it gets, no matter how bad it is, no matter how shitty it is, no matter how far up against the wall it is. Once you give up, why should anybody else care? People did show uh, their um, concern on text. Others more recently have uh, tried to expose the so-called real reasons. But let's actually track this person down and find out uh, the real reason or reasons maybe for going missing from YouTube back in December of 09 yeah yeah uh, before I answer your question actually um, I did call the uh, AIX um, a couple of weeks later after that and we had a multiple uh, multi-hour conversation you know um, I think it was six hours or something stupid um, and it started snowing as well by the time um, morning broke um, back in December so it's um, 2 in the morning until 6 um, something stupid like that or 11 until 6 or so. as for reasons um, I did tell him but I didn't really like elaborate um, I just said I wanted to quit um, for the sake of it and you know, you've got the option so why not use it but I suppose uh, if it comes down to it um, really um, it was kind of disillusionment but it was what I explained as well when I did come back with my many um, other accounts that it was mo mainly to do because I was being absorbed away from reality uh, into YouTube more and more so I was being isolated so I thought why not use that power and actually then actively all of it because I can't do two things at once or split my power and my uh, effort uh, I have to focus it on one thing so very rarely I can do that you know, here and there but I uh, yeah, focus that effort direct it at reality, at real life, and uh, see what happens. And it has been quite productive, actually. Um, uh, and even if you get this sort of negative, uh, the negativity back, uh, the, the, the bounce back, on in real life, at least it's real, at least it's there, and you can deal with it and confront it. It's not behind the keyboard, it's not behind uh, the screen of somebody who's uh, faceless sometimes as well. So yeah, it was quite um, a sort of turnaround, but it was mainly a selfish act, really, uh, just a disillusionment and a just thought. I didn't expect it to take a turn for the part that it was a missing person, you know, look for him, it's this big controversy. Okay, but what about those uh, who actually uh, think that you are the one who uh, created controversy uh, to begin with, and that was your reason uh, for fleeing YouTube uh, in the first place uh, and the Chai Global? Please explain. I created controversy, that's why I quit. No, 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 I don't know where that came from. Um, yeah, so when I, when I did come back, uh, supposedly... Uh, things that, that are, the style I was doing, this is what I was saying about negativity, the style I was doing, I was breeding some kind of negative opinions about me. And um, when I was in the tri global, so when I did come back, uh, this thing just blow, uh, blew out like Yellowstone, and I thought, I can't handle this, or, or not can handle it, because that would be playing to them, but I don't want to handle it to begin with. So second time round, you actually forgot uh, to cover it up, you forgot to uh, bring gloves uh, to be able to handle the heat, is that right? I didn't bring gloves. So it's too hot, so I can't handle it. Yeah, sure, okay. Uh, no, no, no. I just thought I don't want to handle the stupidity. Or I'll use the word, I'll turn it around. I can't handle the stupidity of why didn't you actually confront me when I was in Shy Global for the alleged offences I was doing uh, or committing. So that's why I did come back and then I sort of said, no more new ideas for you. So, okay, fine. You can't do it anyway, so go to jail. Go back to YouTube jail, as I was supposed to in the first place. Uh, I've got my ideas there uh, to be left on until maybe YouTube disappears or uh, YT Jail gets uh, broken into. So there was no controversy to begin with. It was and, he, and the person knows who raised this. I don't know why they actually blew Yellowstone Park up, uh, the virtual Yellowstone. I don't know why they did that uh, because it's right there to this day. Probably uh, that message that um, the side effects of vlogging actually you know, make you withdraw from YouTube, etc. Yeah, AIX did get messages from me, personal messages, but it was mainly uh, talking about utilizing or using U uh, YouTube jail 
to do the final big push and big expose, real expose, not fake things on me, but that's why it kind of bounced back. So it was supposed to be on this person who abuses animals, and I saw the video, and he's also, um, I don't want to actually mention too much, but from what I've seen, he does abuse animals. Uh, okay, so it's kind of a deviant person, and he's a partner on YouTube. So it's this kind of common thing with YouTube of having oddballs being uh, partners. So yeah, um, that was kind of the main thing. Let's expose this guy. Let's do what YouTube was meant for. Put the text. Put you know, and those are news articles. So we'll put the link to on the pages of those who subscribe to him, his fans, etc. And that will probably get YouTube jail, put in jail. And that's what I was kind of mentioning, you know, virtually. But then it ended up backfiring, complete reflection. I ended up, you know, with the jailer himself being jailed in, in his own jail uh, for reasons I do not know what, but uh, it's out there. And, um, you know, um, supposedly, you know, reality and, 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 um, and virtual reality has sort of overlapped and become this one giant real reality, you know, with capital R's. So yeah, that's kind of the nature of uh, the coded messages or the encrypted messages. They weren't really encrypted at all, really. They were just kind of very straightforward, very desperate. It wasn't about end of the world. It wasn't about anything. It was, it was the end of the year. That's all it was. It was the end of the year. Uh, and then everything came to a standstill. So really, it was nearly the end of the world, at least in the United Kingdom. When snow fell, the country shut down for a week and a half, or a month and a half, or whatever. So yeah, so it was all kind of um, strange, really. Uh, yeah. 2009, very eventful year. So after all that the IX has been through, and after all the IX has done and said um, about YouTube, um, he decided, regardless, to actually be pushing for a thousand videos and to be actually pushing for partnership and this is uh, partnership is not new he's been pushing for it um, for quite a while um, but he really wants to realistically pursue it once he hits a thousand videos uh, but I don't really quite see how he can do that I mean does he uh, credibly think that uh, YouTube will go through it and he has explained to us but will they go through the videos oh oh dissing YouTube, dissing YouTube here, and here, and there, and over here, and over there and then give him the partnership, you never know stranger things have happened stranger partners have been given partnership and stranger things have been done by YouTube so yes I don't know I couldn't really, uh, I can't see it, but I hope it does um, does manifest, does come true and um, we'll be talking uh, in a year possibly about AIX, the partner and then he'll be on the other side and we'll be taking jibes at him and taking swings and possibly having beefs but it will be all probably um, offensive, it will be against AIX rather than him provoking it um, I suppose but um, I hope that uh, everybody else wishes him well and um, I hope that um, he does get it because he has guided many of us. He has been the spiritual father, he has been the uncle of some, the father of many uh, on YouTube, on this thing, and um, kept us going actually. We may think, yeah, we kept ourselves going by vlogging, etc., and, and expressing our ideas and ourselves, but um, AIX actually helps. He was part of the equation. So it was me plus AIX. Uh, gives wisdom uh, and hope, real hope uh, in that equation. So yes, let's all I uh, wish AX a good luck and um, I also want to thank you for watching um, this particular mini series and I hope you enjoyed it and it has been informative and it maybe have made you want to go back and check those videos for yourselves. In the meantime, take care of yourself. God bless.
stupidest channel on YouTube. Well, see, see. When people complain about shit, they complain about what they don't understand or what they don't know. These people don't know me, and I don't know them. But I can pass judgment on you right now. You know why? Because they've already passed judgment on me. That's how they, that's how they think we would live if they were not in our lives. Sometimes influence hurts. Sometimes influence what contribute did you give to these people or any people? Drama? Hate? Hate for what? The people are so messed up. And so tore up. Think about this. You your influence has created all this bullshit. Think about it. So please. We need to focus that bullshit someplace else. But you have the right to focus your bullshit any way you want to. So keep doing what it do. It all comes back. You've been too. Suicide will sell your soul. What does suicide do? Sell your soul. But I don't give a fuck. Keep your cornhole. People, motherfucker, don't know how I live. So I cuss and try to be positive. But you can't understand what I'm saying. So people like you better keep praying. I don't know what you've been told. But I heard suicide will give up your soul. Don't give up your soul for a piece of gold. Don't give up your soul for a piece of gold. Living in a trailer park talking shit My goddamn bitch won't suck my dick I don't give a fuck what she said But she sucked the motherfucking mailman's head I don't know what went down When she sucked that motherfucking man who is the clown Over at Chuck E. Cheese Caught that motherfucker on her knee I don't know what you have been told But I know you sold your motherfucking soul For a little bit of piece of this and that Stupid motherfucker, I am the son of the king, the 
thing, not Martin Luther, but I know that I am a shooter. Shoot you down if you try to fuck me. Now you know that I'm not your buddy, I'm not your homie, cause you don't know me. All y'all fools out there trying to snow me. I don't give a damn about a hip hop thing, rap thing, suck my dang up. I don't know what you've been told. Living in the trailer park might lose your soul. If you lose your soul in the trailer park, don't walk back to the park when it gets dark. I don't know what you've been told. All that shit you do is getting real old. All I know is what you said. Talking about your wife trying to give someone head. Talking about getting paid, getting laid, and your hair needs a motherfucking fade. I don't know what I said to you, but do you got a clue that I'm not through? My rhyme's ten minutes, I ain't finished. Like pot pie, I'm gonna eat my spinach. Better yet, I have a liquid diet. Motherfuckers don't cause no riot. Try to talk shit on this beat, move your feet, don't be discreet, don't be joke me. Don't want to stay in the seat, motherfucking fools, don't beat your me. Listen to my rhyme, listen to my shit. Don't talk shit, cause my rhymes are hit. I don't know what you've been told, but living in the trailer park, you'll lose your soul. Don't sell your soul for a piece of gold. Don't catch no gold, sucking on mold. People don't know what you've been through, so what you've been through, I never been through. But what you go through, I might go through. Before you go through, I went through, here goes it you. I want to tell you what's wrong and bad, motherfucker. Listen up, don't get mad. If I step on your feet, it's better than your nose. So fuck your hoe, you might know me real wrong. And that ain't this kind of song. I go on and on and on and on. Cause my rhymes be super strong People think rhymes are so damn funny When they rhyme real quick and they make that money When they talk real fast and rhyme real slick And it revolves around them and they dig I don't give a fuck what you've been told When you live in that park you lose your soul What you did, what you did From an adult back when you was a kid You better think about what you did I don't have to go in reverse or rehearse what I'm fucking saying Cause when I tell you the truth you'll be praying That I don't talk too much Because you know I got that magic touch Make your head real queasy Make at your knees shaking and wheezy Wheezy? Not the wheezy on the Jeffersons Motherfucker don't you know I'm not your son? I'm teaching and I'm preaching and speaking to those who got a bloody nose From all the shit that you spit in it When you have no friends talking that big shit Don't you know hip hop don't stop when you can't make the motherfucking beats drop Don't you know your producer is weak and he tells you the words to speak All I know is I'm fucking doing this I can act Jerry like Jerry 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 Lewis I can be drunk as a skunk and act real funny I don't know what you've been told But living in that park you can lose your soul Don't fuck with me if you don't know who I be Lonzo lover set your ass free Like a tree growing in the forest Can you call me Boris Karloff? Monster hunch in the back How you act when you're acting real whack I don't know what you've been told But living in a trailer park you'll lose your soul Don't sell your soul for a piece of gold So don't sell your soul for a piece of gold Most MCs be done after three Y'all fools out there can't see me Five, six, going real strong And when I hit ten I'll still be going on The video will stop and I'll still be rapping The crowd be will be jumping and people will be clapping I can mumble and mix it up and go slow and mess it up and make it sound just so you never know where I come from I leave your mind numb and all the other MCs are really dumb you can't fucking rhyme like me and all you know is you got the big contract on me I'm fucking rapping for free and y'all motherfuckers can't see me rapping for free Damn, I give you a million bucks And all you stupid motherfuckers drive a million trucks And all you stupid motherfuckers don't give a fuck But Lonzo Lover don't give a fuck Oh, I can talk back in a riddle Decipher the rhyme and write it down in the middle Come off like I'm in a musical Leaving people stupid, dumb, and their mind all swole How can you comprehend?
comprehend when a man like me will rap it to the end. Uh, all I got is a beat moving, keep your body shaking, your mind grooving. No, oh, people want to try to say rap is dead, but I'll put a motherfucker 45 to your head. Cop the hammer back, cock, cock, cock. No motherfucking puss must I stop. Spin around, beat you down with your motherfucking butt until you're bleeding and shitting in your guts. I give a fuck what you know, but you don't know why I'm so kill a fucking flow. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna drink this beer like I don't really know. Oh, but is this a beer or some water in a motherfucking glass that's not really clear? Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna drink it down so, 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 so. Just so I can catch my breath because I got two fucking minutes left. Ooh. Nice. Back on the floor and now, now you're nine and nine and now you know, now you know I gotta go. People get drunk to my shit. Crunk this, crunk that, crunk on this. Uh, I think you're getting high as I supply while you fly. To another place and land Keep your motherfucking mind moving, man Oh, do you wanna be like a stick in the mud Sitting back trying to talk shit Get no love Don't you wanna have your shit right Keep your rhymes together Keep your game tight All I know is other MCs Talk that shit, but they can't fade me People got the contract I'm doing free Y'all know that you can't fade me Ten minute trash, how you act when I rhyme Time after time Dropping no dimes, dropping real knowledge, never went to college, set that spark right off in the dark. Y'all can't see me, pick the 3D, he be GB, call your baby, maybe, maybe, you been lube, pull up your pants, bitch, you been too. Pull up your pants, bitch, you been too. Pull up your pants, bitch, you been too. Thirty seconds. Challenge me if you got some lyrics. Bring it to me, fool, so I can fucking hear it. I'm about to drop this rhyme. Uh, Fuck it, I already dropped my rhyme. Yeah. People don't know it's time. Fuck it for a ten minute rhyme. Uh, woo! Uh, for a ten minute rhyme. Uh, <laughs>